Okay, that which brings us to the I mean, that, that will form a nexus in a way of the industrial uh, 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 program that the president just launched. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Agric was also mentioned as mm -hmm. one of the uh, co-participants, mm -hmm. you know, in that industrial revolution. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that we can actually find a way to escalate, you know, uh, involvement of the youth who represent a larger portion of the population, you know, in Agri? program of government so that we can move away from this question of uh, we don't have enough, we don't have enough infrastructure, we don't have, you know? Yeah, two, two, two sides to that. When I was a commissioner in Lagos State, long time ago, we tried to evolve a program whereby we said there must be school agricultural program. Hmm. Every school must do something like agricultural. Like a school farm. School farm, fish pond, whatever it is. It was working at that time. Two sides to it. Students do not believe that agricultural practice or entrepreneurship is a career in itself. You go to a class and say, how many of you want to, to be, be a farmer? Nobody will raise their hand. They want to be doctors, engineers, and majority will say, I want to be business man and business women. Agriculture at that level is very important. When we were younger, mm. we have mm. seeds in tin milk, mm. and mm. you get marks for mm. making sure mm. that it sprouts yes, well yes. and it's growing. It is the idea that presently we must let our youth know agriculture is a career, so also it's a profession, and it's money earning. There is one income sure way to earn make, income. Yes. yes, a lot of income you can make from agriculture. A girl came to me a long time ago and was actually weeping. I think she was a youth copper. She wanted a job at all costs. And I said, why don't you do something on your own? And she went to Badagri and got the this rains of uh, coconut yes. and she was making foot mats and in less than no time this girl came back and brought me whether a parcel as a, a gift for thank this you. Uh, thank you and she was using the shell to make her rings and necklaces and whatever i think that's all she's doing in her life now and she came out as a as a business uh, mba graduate hmm. was now selling shells making polished shells and selling to the uh, Northern Brothers in the hotels will now sell to tourists, and she's making money. Now, from, from uh, Dr. Kizzi, from what you have just said now, mm. it, it will appear, it will seem to me, that there is no inside empathies, mm. you know, from policymakers and actually the reality that is on the street. Because mm. now, this is just a simple example. Mm -hmm. Now, so why, why do we have a disconnect between what government's policies are and what actually we can do on the street? Yeah, you see, most of the time, we don't counsel our students, we don't counsel our youth, but most universities are doing that now. Mm. They still take them, maybe in their third year, and let them talk to psychologists and experts who can uh, evaluate their potentialities from discussions and advise them. You may have a doctorate degree in business administration. But you may not maybe, be fit for it. You may not be fit for it. Maybe <laughs> uh, you, 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 you are a born farmer. I'll give you another example. When I was a commissioner, this woman came crying at my door. What's it, madam? She said uh, they wanted to take our land at Badagri. I said, yes, I was the one that approved that they should take the land. We want to use it for government policies. This woman knelt down and was crying. And I told her, OK, I'll come the following day to see the place you're talking about. Just the side of a canal, very small pathway. And she has two Ausa men there with their wives and children. And every evening they will water the lettuce. And the mm. lettuce come in batches, about 27 per plot. And the restaurateurs have paid for each branch of the lettuce. So the woman must even be working against time to, to meet, meet the, the demand. demand. Very small strip of land. And if you ask me, this woman read law at the University mm. of Ife. And she was making money doing from just lettuce, just farming lettuce, farming lettuce at the strides of the yes, a canal towards Badagri. That's what agriculture can do for you in terms of revenue and in terms of raising your own social status. It is not just office work alone. Our children, our youths, must be encouraged to go into agriculture. It is the second option to. Uh, uh, oil industry. It's the second uh, option to petroleum industry. The Americans are taking oil from shells, they call it now. Yes, they say shell are, oil. Shell oil. We are even uh, removing a lot from there and that's why we have tsunami or whatever. Let's say in another 20 years there is not that 
demand for oil and oil products anymore. anymore. So we you have, have to, to fall back, back on agriculture. agriculture. Now